Hi guys, uh, this is just a, a quick update. No? I hope I didn't. Um, I hope I don't update, uh, uh, upload videos too often, because I can understand this can be annoying to some. So if if I upload too much, tell me, and I'll adjust uh, my upload rates. Okay, well. So, as you can see, I have new textures for the columns. This is great. Also, ooh, I have the physics uh, have been replaced successfully. That took a couple of days. It was... Uh, um, also changed uh, this texture. Um, when you do textures uh, in 3D, you can't do... You can't impose a lighting on it so let's say you do this is your texture you can't just say oh this is going to be light this is going to be dark you have to assume that light may come from any direction so because if you don't sometimes it might be uh, underneath you know um, a light in your world and it won't uh, it won't make sense the highlights won't fit with the actual placement of the object in this in the world, right? So you have to use a uh, you have to just draw the shadows that would be there only because of occlusion. So this little edge stops light from getting there, stuff like that. Anyways, that's classic. Uh, sometimes the I still need to update the the physics a bit. Though. I think, yeah, there's some a couple of little glitches, but uh, I'll fix that uh, as I go. Uh, I also changed uh, the wall texture. I kind of uh, desaturated the colors to minimize the the patterns. You can see this is still pretty much a big pattern. It does like a grid. Though. So I'll eventually I'll. I'll remove that. I also want to change uh, the ground because it's much too realistic compared to the rest of the style of the game. So the physics was a big, big thing. Um, yeah, if if you want uh, to know the hurdles or the advice I have if you, uh, to implement Bullet, feel free to ask me. Um, there's a couple of things. One of the things that uh, people might not know is that, um, and I'll be quick so that I don't bore the non-programmers. <laughs> um, because we're in real time, um, typically the the physics system, the, the simulate the physics by little steps huh? and so if you have forces that are too big uh, then objects just fall through um, uh, colliders right and it so happens that gravity is a, typically a force strong enough to do exactly that no? <laughs> so I mean you can try and minimize the intervals of your simulation but even with that one of the things you end up having to do is to make sure that your floor is extra thick uh, mine is like a uh, hundred units uh, thick you know and uh, what this does is that it makes an error <laughs> but then the well an error a, a precision error except that the physics system will reposition the object if it if an object penetrates another one it, it's going to detect from where it came in it's going to reposition it uh, properly so basically that's the trick so <laughs> have a big floor <laughs> i also have a well i i showed my new song but i'm gonna ah, I don't know, I feel like bragging a bit I'm starting to have a nice variety I did fix the base. The base was totally... Uh, it has... 
has a nice slow groove. Um, it doesn't really fit uh, this atmosphere, but later in the game, I still see I still have some touch-ups to do on that song. Anyways, later in the game, uh, the levels will be like futuristic, uh, like a uh, the classic uh, science level, and so that song I'll use that song then. Catchy enough. Maybe too much. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I won't. I won't uh, keep you for hours. <laughs> All right. Take care. See you next time.